everybody thank you for tuning in this is wash day two and a half weeks since i started my micro locks i started my own micro locks with two strand twists on june the 5th 2023 and it's been two and a half weeks and if you want to follow my journey you should subscribe to my youtube channel i will be giving you um updates quite often answering any questions that you have and I will be definitely showing you how to maintain your micro locks as you know you go through your journey if you deciding to start your micro locks and it'll save you hundreds of dollars doing it yourself so let's jump right into this video so this is my hair right now I'm gonna give you some close-ups as well but this is my hair and what I usually do in the morning is just spritz it with some plain water. Kind of shake it like that. Kind of shake your head around a little bit. So here we go. So this is how my hair is looking at two and a half weeks. And I'm going to turn around so you can see how that's looking. And I'm going to give you some close-ups and then I'm going to section off the hair and wash it. and. I'll show you how that's looking after we get through washing it. That's my first wash, so we'll see how that's going. Hopefully, I won't have any unraveling. I haven't noticed any unraveling either, so, you know, hopefully, I won't get any. So, let me give you a close up. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just section my hair off so I can braid it up. Just remember whenever you're sectioning off your hair, try to do like smaller section. That way um, it'll be better because you want to make sure that your hair is getting washed very well. And you want to make sure that your hair do not unravel. So I would recommend you using small sections of the hair. I'm just showing you. I'm just using a rubber band at the end of the hair after I braid it to secure and band the ends of the hair. Okay, once the front is completed with braiding and banding your micro locks, this is how it should be looking, something like that. And it's time to work on the back se section as well. And I'll just kind of speed that up so you can um, see what I'm doing right here a little bit. And then we'll just move on to the next uh, process to show you how we prepare our shampoo and everything in our um, water bottle. But I'll be showing you the portion that I use and how much that I use. But of course you can use as much as you like. But this is how it's looking once it's all braided and banded up and your micro locks are all secure. I think I had one little string that I did not get into uh, one of them, but that's fine. I use Suave and it's the clarifying shampoo and I'll use, leave it in the description box as well so you can see what I'm, which one that, that I use exactly. And I'm just putting that in a spray bottle right here and you just kind of eyeball it and I'm just adding some water and I'm just going to spray that onto my hair like so and then once you spray it on there you want to make sure that you're rubbing that shampoo and water in there very well because you want to make sure that your hair is washed good so i added a little more shampoo to the bottle because it wasn't soapy enough for me but like i said you can use as much or as less as you like i like to see the sub so that's why i added some more but yeah so i'm just spraying on that make sure that i'm saturated very well and making sure that it's getting on all of the micro locks going in between going around 
and I'm just spraying as needed if I feel like it's not saturated enough you just want to use your spray bottle and you just want to make sure that you saturate it as much as you like so I'm just making sure that my hair is very clean and then I am just right here using just some plain water and washing my hair in the sink and I'm just letting that water just you know fall over my head and make sure you're using a t-shirt whenever you dry in your head okay y'all what's it about 90 percent dry this is how it's looking and i'm about to start taking it down so when you're taking the braids out your head and the rubber bands off your ends of your hair make sure that you are doing it carefully and making sure that you're not disturbing the braid so much you know um kind of keeping it separated um i went in with a blow dryer because the end of my hair wasn't as dry as i liked it to be so i just went in with a hand blow dryer and i dried it a little more because i did not want these to come unraveled so Right now, I am beginning at the back of my head, and I am just taking out each one, one by one, being very careful. It's sped up, so I did not do this very, very quickly, so I'm just shaking my hair to kind of separate the, the micro locks because I did not want them clumped together so much, but um, yeah, you just want to continue the process like I'm doing right here, and just carefully, once again, taking them out. And yeah, so let me know if you started your lock journey or your micro lock journey. And if you had, what day did you start? When did you establish your micro locks or your sister locks? I know a lot of people are getting the sister locks as well as the micro locks. So comment below and let's have a conversation about that. So right now I'm just going in and just separating the micro locks um, individually to kind of... Um, give it its own locks again because it was kind of like sticking together a little bit but once you just kind of go in and separate the curls it's a lot better but i also go in with my spray bottle um and just kind of mist it a little bit kind of like the routine that i do every morning and kind of it, it keeps it keeps the hair from sticking together so it kind of separated the um micro locks so I'm just kind of showing you how it is looking once it is all washed and dried and how good it's looking. I love the curl pattern. It looks very good. And at the end of this video, I'll also be showing you a very, very close up of the curls as well. And once again, thank you for tuning in and watching. And again, if you want to follow the micro lock journey and you want to start yours just subscribe to the youtube channel and i'll see you soon have a great blessed day